Hi guys, welcome to Simple Programming. In this video, we are going to cover the most important topics in Spring and it is the most sought topic in interviews that often confuses the candidates. I've been taking a lot of interviews in my career and I've seen guys getting confused and struggle to answer the question if we tweak our question a little on this topic. So let us see it in detail. I'm going to use an example which I normally ask the candidate to solve. Here, what I've done is like I created an interface called animal and it has one method signature, characteristics. Every animal has its own characteristics. So animal is going to serve as an interface for our example. And then what I did is like I created a doc class which is going to implement the animal and overwrite the characteristics method and it's going to return a string called bark. Then I have a cat class which is again going to implement the animal interface and it's going to return meow. Both these services have been annotated with other rate of service, cat and dog. The last piece is our controller. I have created an autoware controller uh, with the other rate of controller, other rate of request mapping and it's going to return a get and the user access the slash autoware URI. Okay, so here's my scenario. Uh, I have auto wired the animal uh, interface here directly. So now when I do animal.get characteristics, what will happen? Will it return the cat's characteristics or will it return the uh, dog's characteristics? Let's run the example and let's see what happens. Animal expects a single beam, whereas Two beans are found for the interface animal. We have a cat and dog. How do you think we can resolve this? One straightforward answer is using a qualifier. Now let us run this example. Okay, our application is up and running. Let's go to the browser now. Yes, we have got the cat's characteristics written to us. But what if I don't want to use qualifier? Is there another way to do it? Yes, we can still do it. Let us see how. Just to quickly stop the server and the next way to fix this is let's go to the cat service and we are going to annotate the service with at the rate of primary so what does this at the rate of primary does when you annotate a class with other rate of primary or a bean with other rate of primary it means that this particular class or bean will have the highest priority uh, given with respect to you know auto wearing concept uh, when there are multiple implementations available so now let us go and click on start now i have removed my qualifier here so let us see whether this works or not Let me refresh the browser. It's loading and it has loaded meow. So at the rate of primary works. So now let us still say I don't want to use at the rate of primary. Is there an another way to do it? Let me go to the cat class. I'll remove this at the rate of primary. Is there an another way to do this? Yes, you can still do it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to change this name to dog. Let us stop the server. Let us start it again. Let's go to the browser. Let's refresh the page. We have received a string bark. So this works. So what did happen now? So this is what is called as 
auto wire on properties or auto wire by name we have auto wired this particular uh, implementation by name when you mention dog spring automatically recognizes the class dog and it auto wires it easily next let us look at how auto wire on setters works for this what i'm going to do is let me rename this to animal animal i'm going to remove this and i'm going to create a setter I have created a setter for animal here and where do you think I have to put the auto wire uh, annotation? I would be putting it here. Then what about the qualifier? Do you think the qualifier should be annotated over the, um, you know, the instance here? Or where do you think we have to put the qualifier? We have to put the qualifier here. Let me do a stop the server starting it again okay let's refresh the page and we have got meow so it's working so this is an example of auto wear on setters or auto wear by type the third one is auto wire on constructors. Let us look at it. I've created a constructor here uh, for the auto wire controller, which is going to be taken an animal. So now again, we have to annotate this constructor with auto wire. The same goes for qualifier, just like a setup. Uh, last time we did cat, I guess. So let's do dog this time just to see the difference stop the server starting it again server is up let's refresh the page we have got bot so it's working fine so by default all auto wired annotations are required true which means that if this particular uh, dog service is not present, I mean, or else this dog bean is not present in the servlet container, it would result in an error. It wouldn't even start the server. What if you want, still want to start the server if a bean is not you know, loaded in the spring container? That is an option. But before that, let us see what will happen if I remove the dog. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the service at the rate of service annotation so that this particular class doesn't get loaded into the spring container as a bin. Let me try to stop this server and start again. It resulted in an error. You can see here the parameter that is the zero parameter on the constructor could not be found. Now, do you see the difference? Now, let's do one thing. Let's try to add at the rate of required so to fonts. We need to start the server again. Still, the server failed. Why do you think this happened? This is because Constructor injections are mandatory dependencies, whereas setter injections are non-mandatory injections. At the rate of auto wear required equal to false doesn't have any impact on the constructor injections. This is one of the major difference between setter injection and constructor injection. When someone asks you a question like, can you tell me a difference between a setter injection and a constructor injection? This is what you have to tell them. This is what you have to show them, the actual difference. Now let's do one thing. Let's replace this constructor with a setter and let's see whether it works or not. I replaced the constructor with a setter. Uh, it's going to be the same qualifier dog. The required is going to be false dog. There is no annotation on the dog class. So let us see 
whether this works or not. I'm going to start the server. The, the server has started now. You could see here, right? The server, earlier when you used at the rate of auto a required equal to false on a constructor, it still failed. But when you use at the rate of auto a required equal to false on a set animal, that is a setter, it didn't fail. But when you try to access this animal dot characteristics, right, it will try to find it will try to load or find this dog bean, and then dog bean will not be present in the spring container, and it will result in a uh, you know uh, null pointer. Let me do one thing. I'll clear the console, and I'll try to access the URI. It resulted in an error page. Let us go to the console and see what is the error that we got. Like I said, we got a null pointer here. Now, guys, do you see the different ways you can auto wear a, a property or a setter or a constructor in a Spring application? This is one of the important things that you should know in and out when you go and sit in a Spring interview. This is a very, very basic question, and if you do not answer this question, that makes a very bad impression on you. This brings us to the end of this tutorial. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe for more videos.